everybody, it's Femme Trooper, and today I'm going to be talking about more 10 out of 10 Switch games. So a couple months ago, I did a 10 out of 10 Switch games video. So much fun. There are so many good Switch games. That's why this is a part two, because honestly, there are... It's incredible. There are so many amazing Switch games that need to be talked about. Even if some of them you've seen a million times, I gotta bring them up. And some of them might be, you know, like, maybe shocking. I don't know. Let's find out. Before I get into my list, of course, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, click like, and tell me your 10 out of 10 Switch games. Let's start the list off with a game that I obviously played as a kid and beat that but recently beat the new version, and that is Super Mario RPG. What a great game. Honestly, to me, it's flawless. It's perfection. It's one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's just a fantastic experience in every way. The gameplay's fun. The music's great. The graphics are super cute. And yeah, I know that they changed them a little bit in this, but it's fine. It looks good. And if you want the old game, the old game is still there. So that's the best part about all of this is that whenever they remake a game the original game is still there so yeah it's pretty much like you know a one for one remake like they didn't change anything it looks a little bit more you know like cgi as opposed to that claymation look but other than that it's pretty much the same game i mean it's fantastic cool new characters in the mario universe there's uh you know really cool towns a fun map to explore this just gives you everything and it's a great starting point if you've never played a JRPG before. This is one of the perfect, most perfect games to play uh, to get you into the genre and to see if you like JRPGs. It's really solid. I highly recommend it. I loved it when it came out back in 96 and I still love it now. Okay, this one is kind of a weird one, but to me, it's perfect. It's 10 out of 10. It was such a great experience for me. That's why it's a 10 out of 10. Even if it's like, really, 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 Paige? Yes, really. I'm putting the Dragon Quest Erdrick Trilogy. So this is Dragon Quest 1 to 3 on the Switch. And oh no, they are mobile. They're mobile ports. Ew. You know what? I don't care. I had such a great time with it. I can look past that. To me, it doesn't even matter. It's 10 out of 10. It was such a great experience. I played uh, Dragon Quest, I believe, 11 and then 5, and then I played these. I played 1, 2, and 3 because I thought, I have to play the original Dragon Quest games. And this is a wonderful way to experience those games. I know that one day they may remake them. The third one, that's up in the air. When are we getting that? Who knows? Supposedly soon, but it's been years, so I, you know, whatever. Who knows? But if you really just want to play Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3... This is a fantastic way to play them. Honestly, on your Switch, it's great. You get all three games. Dragon Quest 1 is like the OG JRPG. It's, in my opinion, a game that everybody who likes JRPGs owes it to play. And I will say this because it's a big part of my, my shtick, if you will, is that these uh, are way more accessible than the originals. They've change them a lot in terms of like quality of life so I think you just naturally gain more experience points and stuff so it's not horrendous and really hard to play that doesn't make it you know a walk in the park it's not like the pixel remasters with Final Fantasy where you can like make them so easy it's like unbelievable there's no easy mode or there are no modes you just play it but I think they did make them more accessible and hey I beat all three of them so they can't be that bad no slam to myself but I do I do say that because I want to tell people the truth um, but I really really do recommend this I honestly think it's a great collection to own it's a great way to experience old JRPGs that honestly sometimes when you go back I find them a little bit unbearable they can be a little bit unplayable because they're just so frustrating and hard that if you want to get that experience but not want to punch a wall then you should get this trilogy next up let's talk about my favorite Fire Emblem game <gasps> it's Fire Emblem Engage and I just I loved this I know some people had issues with this one and they had issues with the story, but I actually really like the story and found it a strong point. So it is funny to me when I hear people be like, it was so boring, it was this, it was that. I'm like, really? Because I was so 
engaged in it that I had such a wonderful time. It was such a fun, fun, fun game. It was such an awesome experience. I'm sorry, but I just love Fire Emblem Engage because not only is it aesthetically pleasing, I mean, the characters look so great, it's so anime, and I say that as a strong point. I think that really, really made the game awesome. But if you look at the actual story, to me, it had that big, grand sense of adventure that I like. And you don't usually necessarily get that with Fire Emblem games because you're not on a world map walking around, but for some reason, this really felt like you were. Every single time you went to a new town and there was a new battle, you would meet a new character who would join your team and it was really, really fun. So I love this game and I love it way more than Three Houses. Three Houses to me, gameplay wise, solid, great Fire Emblem game, but story wise, I did not think it was that great. That's just my opinion. And I know so many people who think Three Houses is like the best Fire Emblem. It's great, but to me, Fire Emblem Engage is where it's at. Now, I haven't talked about this one in my 10 out of 10 Switch games yet, but it is, it is a 10 out of 10. And I know various people who will be like, yeah, for including it. And of course, it's Harvestella. What a really solid, awesome JRPG that is creepy, it's fun, it's, you know, vibrant, it's everything. It's everything I wanted, and yes, there's a little bit of farming, but don't freak out because that's not a big deal. It's an awesome game. I promise you it's worth your time to check it out because it is so much more than what it comes across as. It is not just some farming medieval game. There are some weird sci-fi elements that I don't want to get into, but I'm telling you they're there because I want you to play it. This game has a beautiful world map. It has great music. The gameplay is solid. It's an action JRPG. It's a great time overall. I seriously, seriously recommend Harvestella. I loved that game. Every time I played it, I was always like, you know, so happy. Like it was just such a really cool game. It's cool. It's a cool game and it has a neat vibe to it. I really enjoyed it. And you know, there's a really nice challenge there. And I will say that because I don't usually like a challenge, there was no difficulty mode and I was like, ah, but then I played it and I did it. I beat it and it felt so satisfying. Oh my God. Like great game, hands down. One of the best switch games that I think a lot of you haven't actually played. It's really a shame, but I think it's never too late to uh, play Harvestella. It's great. Another maybe weird one to put on my list, but it's my list. These are my 10 out of 10 Switch games, and I don't care. <laughs> um, this one is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, whatever, doesn't matter, but this is the one I have. You're gonna be like, whoa. So the story on this one is, when this was advertised, I was so anti Pokemon Let's Go, like, I was so against it. I was like, I'm never buying that. I can't even believe they're, they're making it. I was so angry at Nintendo for even putting it out because I'm not a Pokemon Go fan. I just didn't get into it. Um, you know, it's not my thing, but I love the Pokemon games and I finally gave into this because I was worried about the battles and I was worried that it was just literally throwing Pokeballs and I thought that's kind of lame. I don't want any part of it. But if I'm honest, guys, I think personally, I think this is a solid, great remake of the original Blue and Red. I, I do. I don't think it's the exact same. And I think I would really truly want like an actual remake of it where you're not using Pokemon Go mechanics. But take that away and just view it for what it is. It's a great way to experience Kanto again. It, it really is. I had so much fun with it. I love this game. It's definitely a game that I would replay for sure because I just love Kanto and I, I could immerse myself in Kanto forever. I mean, really, I just love that region so much. I mean, it's my entire childhood, so I'm a huge fan. But I really enjoy this game because it brought me back to that world that I love so much that meant so much to me as a kid. And yeah, is it really easy? Sure, but that's not, I'm not playing this for a, you know, immense challenge. I'm playing this kind of for nostalgia. And if you want a fun Pokemon game, then this one's a really, it's, it's honestly really fun. If you've never gone to it because you thought maybe it'd be bad, give it a chance. Cause I feel like it came out a long time ago now, but no one ever talks about it anymore. And it's actually like really a fun game. So I'm just saying, I'm throwing it out there. I like this game. Yes, you catch Pokemon by throwing Pokeballs, but you still actually do battle trainers, gym leaders. So actual battles are very much still in this game and it's a great time. 
Next up is a game that was my 2023 game of the year. Yeah, it's a 10 out of 10. It is one of my favorite games of all time. That's Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line. Oh my god, this is one of the best rhythm... Well, it's, to me, it's the best rhythm game ever made. It is everything you could ever want in that genre. And while well, JRPGs are my favorite genre and I love platformers and all that stuff, I do love action games, I do enjoy a good rhythm game. And as much as I'm not like the biggest rhythm game person, like I enjoy them, this to me is like hands down one of the best games ever. Like it beats so many other games. It's nuts because I could play this forever. It's a desert island game. I wanna just play it over and over. I could play this for years straight. If this was the only game I had left, like this would be okay with me because Final Fantasy, thank goodness, is amazing for music and it makes so much sense that there's a rhythm game. And yeah, I do enjoy the other theater rhythm games, they're really good, but this is the definitive way to experience Final Fantasy music and other games because now there's other games with DLC. Oh man, it's just so good. So, you know, I've talked about it a million times. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but if you don't own this yet, I mean, what's going on? What is happening? You need this game in your collection right now. I mean, it's it's seriously, uh, it's so good. Like, the Final Fantasy music, I could listen to it on my own, but playing it, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't care. I pretend that I'm a part of it. I'm a part of the orchestra and I'm hitting the notes and I'm having the best time of my life here. Let's end this one with a sort of controversial pick, but I thought this game was truly fantastic. Phenomenal. I loved it to bits, and I do know there are people out there who agree with me, and there are people that hate it so much, I know they returned it, and that is Paper Mario the Origami King. Um, I think this game is wonderful, and there are so many reasons why. I think it's, you know, great writing, really fun, uh, the world is so great to just walk around in. If you think it's going to be a JRPG, you will be disappointed. This is not a JRPG. This is a game that has JRPG elements. So I wouldn't call it a JRPG because yeah, there's no experience. And people are like, what's the point of battling? It's like, I don't know. It was just part of the game. It's fun. I enjoyed it. I think this game has some of the best boss battles I've ever played in video games, period. Yeah, that's a big thing to say, but it's amazing. The game is truly wonderful. It's a... God, the colors, the way it looks, it's amazing. And I'm sorry, but the music, also stunning, great, fun time. I just, the whole time I played it, I was so excited to get to different areas, different worlds, um, you know, really cool towns in this game. Oh my god, like so cool that like, you want to like, you just want to stay there and you want to, you know, be in this world. It was so neat. And some of the most creative boss battles, I'm sorry, ever. Like, really, really cool stuff here, guys. Like, really cool. And you might be watching this and being like, ooh, that game sucks. Well, that's fine. But I loved it. It really, truly was the experience I wanted at the time. It was so neat. And I thought, man, you know, this is great. Because I know the Paper Mario series is so hit and miss. It's been going downhill. Like, Everyone holds the first one and Thousand Year Door like so highly and I think, but this isn't that. It's something else and that's okay because I just feel like, would I want a true, you know, Super Mario RPG, Paper Mario RPG, you know, I want those experiences, yes, but whatever this is, whatever genre you want to call it, whatever it's doing, it's doing it great. It's doing it well and I thought it was such a fun time. I, 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 it's honestly one of my favorite Switch games still. Like, it's a really good game. It's, it is 100% for me a 10 out of 10 because it's like everything I wanted and I just love it. Well, that is another video of 10 out of 10 Switch games. And of course, I could do another and I will. So look forward to that because there are so many Switch games that the amount of 10 out of 10 ones is strong. So it's very exciting to me knowing. I will make another one of these because there are some obvious choices that you're probably like, what? That I haven't mentioned, but that's why, because I like to just talk about various 10 out of 10 games because the Switch is so great. It's my favorite console and I just love to share the best games with you because that's what this is all about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love talking about, you know, games on the Switch that I think are pretty much perfection. They're 10 out of 10s. They're like the best because that's what this is all about. It's YouTube and I want to tell you about my most cherished fun games that I've ever played, right? So tell me what are your 10 out of 10 Switch games and of course, I'll see you guys in my next video.